hi guys welcome to my channel so it's early morning over here um it is actually 7 18 and so i'm gonna give you the scripture and i don't know i posted on my um instagram i woke up like around 11 something and i didn't go back to bed until about three something in the morning i started cleaning up took a shower that's a bunch of stuff i had took it taken a nap earlier anyway so when i woke up it was around 11 something no actually it was around one something when i woke up um i probably went to sleep around 11 something but anyway so i get up this morning first thing is out of the mouth of babes right and the reason why it was out of the mouth of babes is because it was about my son. My Okay, so, but the Lord is faithful. He will establish you and guard you against the evil one. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go. And this is in uh, 2 Thessalonians 3. Chapter 3. Finally, brothers, pray for us that the word of the Lord may speed ahead and be honored as happened among you, and that we may be delivered from wicked and evil men. For not all have faith, but the Lord is faithful. He will establish you and guard you against the evil one. And we have confidence in the Lord about you, that you are doing and will do the things that we command. May the Lord direct your hearts to the love of God and to the steadfastness of Christ. Now we command you, brothers, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that you keep away from any brother who is walking in idleness and not in accord with the tradition that you received from us. For you yourselves know how you ought to imitate us, because we were not idle when we were with you, nor did we eat anyone's bread without paying for it. But with toil and labor, we worked night and day that we might not be a burden to any of you, it was not because we do not have that right, but to give you in ourselves an example to imitate. For even when we were with you, we would give you this command. If anyone is not willing to work, let him not eat. For we hear that some among you walk in idleness, not busy at work, but busy bodies. Now such persons we command and encourage in the Lord Jesus Christ to do their work quietly and to earn their own living. As for you, brothers... Do not grow weary in doing good. If anyone does not obey what we say in this letter, take note of that person and have nothing to do with him, that he may be ashamed. Do not regard him as an enemy, but warn him as a brother. Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times in every way. The Lord be with you all. I, Paul, write this greeting with my own hand. This is the sign of genuineness in every letter of mine. It is the way I write. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Listen, I don't even, I don't look at these before I um sit down here to give you, like I'll hear the message or I'll hear whatever it is he's trying to tell me and it's going <laughs> right with it. I promise you. So yesterday, not yesterday, it was yesterday my son got his license. So that was part of the story. But anyway, the other day he was asking me to go outside with him to help him learn the parallel park. So I set up, I have cones that I had forever because I taught my, the son before him how to um, parallel park with these same cones. So he goes, I told him to go get the truck, take the truck to the street, go get the, go get the cones and the truck, take it to the street. And then call me when he's ready. So when he starts to call, he calls me. He says, Mom, I'm, I'm in the street. I'm ready. I said, okay. So I'm getting myself to go outside. But then my phone rings again. And it's him. But at this time, I didn't answer. But God put in me. I knew what he needed. So I go to the garage and I grab these sticks. So when I come out the door, he says, Mom, how did you know what I need needed? I said, son, you know I'm psychic. He laughs, right? 
because I've been saying this to people for forever and a day, but they think it's funny. And I don't know why anybody thinks it's funny, but okay. So the reason why I took the sticks was because the cones are too, because that truck is big, the cones work in a car, but because the truck is high, sits high, you can't really see the cones. So the sticks were to mark so he can, so it would bring it up higher so one was a mop and the other one was like a little dust thing that I used. But either way, it brought that piece came up. I dropped it inside the cone. That way he could see the front and the back of him. That's what that was. Okay, so in the process, he says, Mom, can you get in the car with me? So at first I'm like, because I was doing something at the time. Um, at first I thought, you know, well, I'm going to go finish doing what I'm doing. But anyway, I go and I sit in the truck with him, right? Just because he asked, so I did it. So he, I proceeded to tell him, you know, how he needs to line himself up when he's trying to back into other cars or whatnot, right? So he pays attention. He's listening. I, I'm telling y'all, the boy's a genius anyway. Like, he's so smart. He gets very good grades. Um, and he does it. He does, And he does it perfectly fine the first time. He gets it. So I say, well, um, I'm going to, and I high five him, you know, support. I give him the high five. You did that. That's what I tell him. You did that. You're smart. You, why would you doubt yourself? You don't have to doubt yourself. Um, so gave him the high five. It's the little things. So what happens after that is I said, okay, so can I go in the house now? He says, no. He said, because I need you to sit here and watch me because I need <laughs> this is funny. He said, Mom, I need the emotional support. I need the high five every time. And if I laughed because I said, at least he recognizes the fact that he needs that. And <laughs> I'm going to give it to him. This is what I do. I give it to him. So that was the thing. Yesterday, so he takes and he goes and gets his license. He passed first time. That was the first time taking it. So I'm over here like, congratulations, son. You know, you did that. But I don't ever doubt yourself. I knew you had it in you anyway. So as soon as we're done, he's like, mom, can I drive to school? So in my mind, I'm thinking, because again, this truck is big. And I'm like, I just don't want you to, uh, you know, because everybody... Uh, my truck her name is cocaine everybody knows how i feel about my truck like uh, that's my you know and i love white in case everybody should know that by now everything's white my house is white my cars are white my trucks like everything's white Every, i love white um but something in me said he's excited he wants to he wants to stun a little bit and i understand why he got his license. He's proud. But so I said, and in my mind, I'm just going to let y'all know my heart and my soul, but I got to give him this confidence because, you know, and I'm glad that he is like, it, but it's the little thing. So, so I say, okay, just drop me off at the house. So he drops me off at the, comes to the house, drops me off, but you know, he comes and opens, opens the door for me, the house door. And then I come in the house, but then I'm laughing because in my mind, I'm thinking, like, they grow up. They grow up so fast. Like, this is my last one. And so now he, um, when he gets to school, he texts, because we have a family group text, you know, with me and the kids and the grandkids, with everybody's in it. And he said he passed. So he's telling everybody that he passed. And, but that let me know that he was safe at school because he didn't he didn't text until after he got there. So that let me know he was safe. I was good. But when he comes home, as soon as he comes in the door, he has this big old smile on his face. And so, again, I love these moments. I love these times. So yesterday, I made a video and it was out. It was about my my divine counterpart and some old energy right but the new energy kind of you know got on my nerves a little bit to the point where i'm like god no no 
<laughs> we got to talk because you told me that this person is this and that person's not given that. That person is given. So all day long, God was still working on me with this spirit, this energy, this person. Because again, I don't even know this person. All I know is it was directed to me that this is your true twin. This is your true divine. This is your true past. This is your true everything. Well, why have I never met this person? But okay, never crossed paths with this person. Just energy, right? So, oh, I have these cards and um, it was, it's manifest your soulmate oracle cards, right? And I haven't used these cards in forever and a day. But anyway, so I go to shuffle these cards when I sat down here this morning. And I'm like, um, give me, you know, a card to, for this energy, right? But apparently this energy wants to talk because literally all these cards fell out. And I started to put them all back and then God's like, no, read them. So I'm going to read them. The first one says, take a leap of faith into the unknown. The second one says, your life does not get better by chance. It gets better by change. Never make per permanent decisions on temporary feelings. You want a person who comes into your life by accident, but stays on purpose. Life is, life is a great big canvas. Throw all the pain on it that you can. <laughs> that would be me all the way. The more love and care you give yourself, the more love you have to give others. I am you, you are me, we are he. I have found the one that my soul loves. <laughs> um, everything you need, your courage, strength, compassion, and love, everything you need is already within you. When you meet your soulmate, you'll feel calm, no anxiety, no agitation. Follow your heart's desires and manifest the heck out of your life. In this card, it says when you meet your soulmate. I haven't met them yet, so that could be the reason why I'm not feeling that calm. Um, <laughs> follow your heart's desires and manifest the heck out of your life. You know I'm always manifesting. <laughs> manifesting the heck out of my life. Um... You will meet your soulmate when the time is right. Stop criticizing yourself. You are perfect just the way you are. Fall in love when you are ready, not when you're lonely. Do not seek it without. Do not seek it without. And oh, I should have showed you these cards too. Peace comes from within. That's what it looks like. Never give up on something you really want. You are on your way to meeting your true love. So those are all the cards. I'm sorry I didn't show them to y'all, but I'm not reading them again. So I, I made a video. God, I'm done. I'm over it. I, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm over it. I don't have time for negativity and childish behavior because that's all it was given. And that's not what I'm given. I'm given very good energy. And I'm given it without asking for anything. I'm given it just because that was just what I was given. And then when I realized, either way, I wasn't with it, okay? Point blank period, I wasn't with it. So, I'm up in the middle of the night. I ended up uh, messing with my cards a little bit, but Ani asked for two cards. And these are the two cards that came out right here. That one was first. This one was second. So, it gave me the vibes of somebody was worried about me. Somebody was worried about me, right? And I don't know who was worried about me. I didn't even ask. These two cards fell out. That's all I went with. I left them over there this morning when I woke up. I brought this deck back over here. And that's where it's been sitting. So, 
somebody is worried about me. It's probably a lot of people worried about me right now, but that's all I gathered. Anyway, so I fall asleep, right? And when, as I'm asleep, I hear, because uh, I'm in between the, the thing. Somebody is still sending, I love you. Somebody is still sending, I love you. I get it. I love you back. But um, that's because I'm giving love and my love is unconditional. So I don't know who it is. And no matter who it is, I, I, I don't hate anybody. I'm not upset with anybody. I'm not mad with anybody. It's just. I didn't, I didn't understand why people didn't realize, like, the amount of chaos and stuff that was going on was affecting me. Like, regardless of whether or not it was, it, it just didn't matter. It was just too much, and y'all didn't realize, like, my energy's always high, but now I'm having to now really fight through, I gotta work, I gotta deal with my energy being just, and I gotta have a good attitude because... Again, I'm vibrating at a different frequency at this point in time. So I got to worry about my insides. And then it started to bother me because, like I said, it started making me feel like, who is paying attention to me right now? And I know God was, and I know my ancestors was, and I know that's the reason why I made it through. And like I said, even some of the exes or some of the new ancestors are fighting for me because they're saying this is a lot on her and God's never going to give you more than you can handle. But guess what? He will activate them angels for you to now step in because nobody knows what I'm going through, but me, because I'm the only one that's over here. I'm the only one sitting under over here. Me and God just sitting here, minding my own business, the same way I'm always doing. And it's hard. Like when now you are in the middle of spiritual warfare over something you had nothing to do with. You don't even know who's attacking you on some of these cases. It's new people that, it, listen, it was just a lot. But God said, uh, you already been prepared for this. We didn't know that the other thing was going to step in. But now, guess what? Don't even worry about it because we got you back on that too. We'll take care of it. So yesterday when I came to the table, because after I realized actually what was happening, happening, and now I'm realizing this person that is supposed to protect me, they claim they're a protector. From what I understand, that's what they do. But meanwhile, they're worried about themselves. They didn't want to, you know, they didn't send a kite, a messenger pigeon, a nothing to say. They just got mad at the fact that I said what I said. And I'm going to still say what I want to say. When you're being wrong, you're being wrong. So now I wake up and, you know, I'm going through the process and now I'm asleep. And I don't know if that person was sending, sending me energy while I'm asleep. But I told God, I, I think I'm at least owed an apology and not the, uh, not that one. <laughs> okay not that one I need so now God is saying to me because I understand and I, I'm giving you the right to say what you want to say and if that person is being that way then you have every right because guess what the judgment was already called but what I'm going to need you to do is because I'm gifting you things and I allowed you to be free i need you to do something for me and i said what god what do you want me to do i'm i'm here i'm your loyal and humble servant what do you want me to do and he said i still need you to give energy to that thing that thing that wrongs you, that thing that you call judgment on that, and I gave you the right to call judgment on it, and you can still choose yes or no to be 3D, 5D involved in that person's life. Still up to you, still that's, you know, whatever decision you make. But what I need you to do is that thing, that energy, it needs healing. And I have something that was supposed to be done 
here and that energy is not full but you are you have more than enough to give to that so i know that person that energy wrongs you but it needs help and you know that scripture that I've been putting in you, like from day one, when you first woke up, turned the other cheek and that person slapped you, not physically, cause I never met this person. So that person has now slapped you. It wasn't a physical slap like the previous relationship cause they really slapped me. But this person didn't treat you properly but i still need you to give to this person because giving to this person is giving to the kingdom and again you don't have to physically give to this person you don't even have to go nowhere near this person it's up to you but i need you to give to this person And I'm never going to second guess God. That's the thing. I'm never going to question nothing he tells me to do. So I'm still sending energy to this person. I'm still letting this person. Because guess what? When you um, know better, you do better. So some of y'all, you know, or some of us, period. I'm going to just not even say y'all. Some of us. Sometimes we get left. Sometimes we, and I mean left, I mean left. Not left behind, but left, meaning on the wrong path, on the wrong track. And when we are trying to find our way back, sometimes, you know, there's crossroads. And at this point, and just so y'all know, at crossroads, there's gatekeepers, okay? And my ancestry has gatekeepers and sometimes the gatekeepers are <laughs> i'm never mind um there's gatekeepers at these crossroads okay and The gatekeepers will let you take whatever path you want. Sometimes the gatekeepers aren't even going to let you through because they'll say that this is not your road and you just got to go that way and whatever happens, happens. But this is you, access, no. You have no access over here. You just got to go that way. And then you got to fight through whatever you got to fight through on that side because I don't know how you got over here, but you was never supposed to be over here anyway. But... And I'm assuming, because that's what it feels like, apparently there was a left when it should have been a right. <laughs> and this person has access to do whatever they want. That's the thing. This person, from what I understood, was here before me. And I know this person was here before me because... And when I say here, I don't mean here, here. I mean, they awakened before I did. They actually awakened me. So, you would think that they would know, they should know more than me. But again, out of the mouth of babes, like my son yesterday or the other day when he said, Mom, I need the emotional support. And he was able, uh, he recognized that that was something that he needed. And I, I'm, of course, going to stand by and do what I need to do. I'm going to do my thing. I'm going to give him all the energy that he needs. He's a babe. He realized what he needed. But in this case, I'm the babe out of the mouth, mouths of babes. So out of the mouths of babes, I'm letting know, I'm letting that energy know that yes, you awakened before me, but 
this is where you need emotional support because, and I'm going to give it. Because God told me that, and he knows me. So love is love, and I'm always going to give love. And in order for you to be better, and the other part is this. When this person is your true, whatever they feel, you're going to feel anyway. Like I said, there's behaviors that I've been having that now I realize was not mine. It was theirs. So at this point in time, I'm not going to do anything to hurt myself. So if a part of me feels sad, weak, lonely, distressed, I don't care, you know, what energy they're putting off. Like, oh, I'm the big bad wolf. No, you're the little wolf right now. And so, <laughs> not to say that, but that's just, but anyway, so that's my story. God told me to help heal, send energy to a person I've never met, a person that I'm very much connected to, and a person that spiritually hurt my feelings <laughs> like literally they threw me out to the wolves and baby swim meanwhile I don't even know the people that are attacking me so literally <laughs> I felt abandoned on that because I'm like how am I supposed to fight an enemy that I don't even know but God said <laughs> don't even worry about it okay all you got to do is open that mouth get thee behind me and we'll activate what we need to activate so you know you, how to use your tools. You don't have to see. You don't have to see that. You don't have to know who it is, but you know how to fight. And then we'll reveal everything to you as it needs to be revealed. And then stuff started getting revealed to me as it needs to be revealed because I'm over here like, I'm minding my business. I don't even know where this came from. And why are y'all always so messy and doing stuff and just always worried about stuff that you shouldn't be worried about? I don't do that. That's not my, I like peace. It's peaceful over here, okay? I keep trying to tell y'all I live in heaven. I like heaven. Heaven is good. God. And I tell y'all, I have my own, I, I have fun over here. If I had known it was so lit in heaven, I would have just been over here from the beginning. Because what happens in heaven is this. When you're gifted something, you don't got to give it back. The devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy. The devil will hand you something and then take it back. God don't do that. Once God hands you something, the only way you, it gets taken is if you give it. I'm not giving nothing. I'm not giving nothing back. Because he said I don't have to. So I'm not going to attempt to give anything back. <laughs> but I just don't, um, you know, it was one of the things I said, creating healthy boundaries. Because I'm never giving anything back. A person could, you know, give their blessing back all they want. But at the end of the day, no matter where they are or how they feeling it, it just is what it is. Certain things just is what they are. It's already been written down. It's already been, you know. So at this point, this is me giving energy. Well, this is not me. This is just me telling the story. But I am giving energy to a person, an energy that I've never met being obedient to God because I care about myself. I told y'all yesterday, y'all don't, y'all people didn't care about yourself. I care about me. So if I have to help heal something that I don't even know anything about, then that's what I'm going to do. So I don't know if this makes any sense to people because like I said, if this resonates with you, then because some people are on the same journey that I'm on. So they will understand. They will get it. Um, others won't get it until it's their time. And then when it is your time, you come back to this video. And then you be like, oh, I know what she meant now. I know where she was going with it. So, um, yeah, that's me. That's my story for today. Giving energy because I'm being obedient to God, but I was going to give energy anyway. I just was not going to give energy that way because like I said, everybody was blocked and deleted. So some of y'all people are still blocked and deleted, but um, 
that that's all old energy all and eventually i'll unblock everybody but as of now certain people got unblocked and that's uh, not certain people a certain person got unblocked because i'm being obedient not because you are whatever you think you are but i'm being obedient to god and i hear you just so you know i still hear you you still don't have that power You abused it. You didn't treat it right. So, right now, sir, I hear you. And you know how you chose to say you ignored me, you know? A couple of times when you heard me saying I needed your help because I didn't know what was happening. And when I realized it was because of your energy, you ignored me. So I heard you and I ignored you. It's probably going to happen more often than not because I just don't like your behavior. And it just is what it is. So, thank you guys for coming to my channel. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Subscribe, please. Thank you. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Um, probably going to work today. My son wants to drop me off, but I think he's a little late because it's 7.50. But we shall see because I'm going to fix this video, upload it first before I do anything because obedience is key and i gotta make sure that this message gets out so thank you guys for coming to my channel like comment share subscribe